ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. Oh, I got well, so stuck in this level. Pad. Hello, I am Rick. John, at the one where you have to do the, up and, the up and down, and there's Victory. nothing, no way you could fucking yep. know that. It is one, like... This is a really cute looking level, though. It is a very cute looking level. It's one of those things where, like, it is so infamous to the point of being tired just to even acknowledge it. Is it? Kind of. Because I experienced that entirely in a vacuum. I didn't have yeah, any same. friends like oh, you guys Oh, yeah. I, I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't beat this for a very long time because of that. Yeah. It's like Zozo in Final Fantasy VI, and you're like, oh, yeah. I can just jump suddenly between buildings. That's cool. Thanks. But, like, I think once I was able to do the crazy, like, jump on it a lot and just squeeze through. I was like, oh, I can beat the game! And, like, I never looked back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing, like, eight-year-old Rick. No, oh, I can beat the game! I'm pretty sure that it took me until high school to realize that you're supposed to do the up-down thing. I don't and think I was it like, took me that long. I was this like, this game definitely fuck? took me a long time to beat, though, because, yeah, I got stuck on the last boss with Tails. Yep. Uh, I got stuck in here with Sonic, so then I played Knuckles' game, and that was just hard. <laughs> yeah. Sonic 2 with Knuckles is a pain in the ass, because the Death Egg uh, robot is a fucking hard dude to fight, because he jumps shorter than Sonic does. Yeah, Ooh, well, you just close. gotta fight him slower. I mean, yeah. It's the safe way away from the bend down. I, guess. I don't really like this level because you spend most of it going right to left, and it just feels wrong. Well, not most of it, but there's a there's lot a lot of it. it. Is I think that wall is fake. Oh I mean, yeah, there's shit all over actually, but that's gross. Um, Fucking Cardi's, dude, gross. Yeah, Ugh. That, you're right. This is American Horror Story season four. Ugh. Is this the one that's fake? Nope. No. Maybe there are a lot right. of fakies. Yeah. It might be up to the right. We'll find it. There's, there's a ton. <laughs> Okay. So, Yankees. this girl I used to date, like, sang a song that went along with this, and I have no idea where it came from. If it was a thing that she heard from someone else, so fucking. It was serious. like, well, the monkey wrap its tail around the flagpole. I was like, what? What? It seems like that riff she... exists outside of Sonic, doesn't it? It does. I think it's a standard like Calliope Carnival. thing. What the fuck is Calliope? Calliope is the kind of music that is like an organ grindy style music used for stuff like carousels. Okay. I think you could actually. I think Guru Guru's. I think Guru Guru's music from uh, uh, from Ocarina Majora's Mask, the windmill guy. I think yeah. his qualifies as Calliope music also. As does the mini game music, like the the when you go to like a shooting parlor in, mm -hmm. in Ocarina and stuff. The. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh god, I forgot how it goes. Shit. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, though. It's like jiggly, kind of. How else to describe it? I love this one. This was. Oh, what no, are you doing? I fucked up. Wow, very I, much. Well, that one's confusing because it's a bunch well, of. Yeah, you just walk around the perimeter. Together. Yeah, but I didn't do that. Uh, yeah. Oh god. Just do you the might whole still thing. I'm still be able to do this. Just be I gotta, careful. Yeah, I gotta just. I gotta get it done. I gotta be careful. Oh god. You could still clear a lot I know. of those. It's fine. Oh uh, god, no. Uh, it's just really hard, okay? It's just really hard I when you fuck up. I know I fucked up, but I'm trying to get no, it. No, that back. wasn't Oh, no, that one didn't work. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm like sorry, even if you fuck it up a little bit, you can still walk the perimeter and get most of them clear. Yeah, but by then it was just really fast and I fucked up. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't believe you. It. It's it, frustrating cuz I'm like, "Oh, I fucked up." And you're like, "No, here's how you fucked up." I was like, trying I, I wasn't I, No, I wasn't <laughs> telling you how you fucked up. I was trying to help you fix it. Yeah, I was oh. It was very savable. I I saw what to do, but I just like was not in control at that point. I think it's I just like everywhere. All right, well, John, this is uh, let's, let's consider this your intervention. If you're, if you're not in control, I'm really worried about you. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. It, you have you have a an inclination to turn more often than anything else, which can be tricky when you. It can be tricky if you're like in recovery, I guess. Like for a, one of those situations, that's all. I'm not trying to rag on you. I don't. I'm, I'm not trying to do any of that. Also, God, speaking is fucking. Hard right now. Ugh. 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 I'm not trying to whack on you, but I just broke my nose. I just I feel gross. That's all. <laughs> I've literally spent the entire time now between Beeble's wedding and the wedding I'm going to this weekend, which will have already happened by the time you guys see this. Sick. The whole time in between. Sounds like a drag. I'm gonna look like a fucking meth addict at the goddamn. Sorry, not meth. Coke. Coke addict. At the goddamn wedding, because my nose is gonna be red and dry and cracking. It's gonna be great. Hmm. Look okay. sharp as shit. Maybe you should just do some crack. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> if I just bleed profusely from my nose, then that you, know, they, they you can't get mucus if in you there, can't right? Can't beat them, join them. So they say. Never mind. They 
hate us because they ate us. They hate us because they ate us? <laughs> that, that, oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Fuck they say insanity is. See ya. Oh. You're, it's, yeah. yeah, no, I wasn't trying to go back up. I was not expecting to like uh, the interview at all. I actually liked it a lot more than I thought I would. It's definitely not like one of the all-time greats necessarily, but it's definitely much better than I thought it was going to be. What interview? Yeah, the... The Kim, movie, the interview. Kim Jong-un movie. Yeah, with Seth Rogen and James Franco. Probably because I think I'm just kind of getting tired of their kind of humor. Like, they have a very standard sort of kind of jokes. You're not going to... Oh, all right. Okay, yeah, I think... One. Like, I, I think that's true. I do think that, like, Seth Rogen has, like, a fruitful Jewish future in Hollywood. I think <laughs> James Franco is going to be more the flash in the pan. Really? Yeah. I think if he... Oh, oof. Because he's, like, yeah, he's kind of talented, question mark. What is his job? I don't know. I want to see him do more drama. Like, actual drama. Like, I know he's got... He's probably having the fucking time of his life doing all these comedies. But... I think if he did some drama, he could really expand Let's his bring it back to Tristan bit. and his old. You guys remember that he was in that movie? No. Because that was him. I always, when I think of like <laughs> someone completely transforming their career out of being a stereotype, like uh, uh, typecasting kind of you situation. You say forever, DiCaprio? No, I was actually oh. going to say James, uh, James Franco. Jesus Christ. No, uh, Jim Carrey. Yeah. he Cause up through the 90s, solid comedy. Almost Where? exclusively like goofy, comedy. Where? Like. Yeah, very over the top stuff. And then he started doing like he I mean the Truman show was kind of his little foot in the door. Some of my favorite movies are, are Jim no, Carrey. Oh fuck you! Eternal Eternal Sunshine. Is one of my favorite yeah. all time so movies. Close. Top five forever. That's what she said. And it's one of my favorite movies. It doesn't it doesn't feel like a Jim Carrey movie though. Like I, yeah, I don't think all. of I've never thought of that as like, what's your favorite Jim Carrey movie? I wouldn't necessarily say that. I'd be yeah. like Ace Ventura. I don't know. Well, uh, it's definitely it's definitely much more of a. Um, oh, now I'm gonna forget his name. That's embarrassing. I was just gonna say that he's one of my favorite directors because he also did uh, Be Kind Rewind. Um, Michelle Gondry. Yes, thank you, I Michelle Gondry. I love Gondry. that movie. That's so cute. That one. That one Michelle. hits me so close to home. Between like the movie thing that we did and like just generally trying to live a creative life and watching that and watching like it feels like a much more human sort of take on a lot of that despite how <laughs> that's coming for you dude. despite how <laughs> no, yeah, right. just kill him. Impressive. despite just how kill super him. goofy no, I, that movie he starts keep. <laughs> it actually it, levels out yeah, a lot yeah i think you it's really, i like that. it though it's just cute. keep him around you for the rest of the level yeah. it's the silliest plot device just for the sake of getting it started and then it becomes very real as it's time goes on oh, okay i think i finally lost him i think that wall is fake i think everyone oh wow that's right. Almost every wall is... Oh, we've already been here. Whoa. Shit, did I go backwards? You might what have. What was that noise? Bow! That's just the music. Oh. That's weird. Wow, we have been like here. How the fuck event. did I go backwards? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck this game. Uh, and there's the bat again. <coughs> oh, oh, not my day, huh? Not your day. It's a new day. Yes, oh, gee, it we is. We are definitely going in circles, dude. Yeah, I know. Go up to the right, then. Again, I never, never liked this level. I thought I went this way before. Nope. But look at those rings. So, uh, <laughs> there we go. I like the little, like, hip hop sort of. Like beat to go along with the like carnival oh, music. So. Yeah, because it's Michael Jackson. Oh yeah. Sub boss. This is oh, a weird sub boss. Not an easy one. Oh, actually. speaking of any kind of boss, I okay. forgot to tell you today. Yeah. CJ, your boss came in and he bought four hats for me. Nice. Yeah. Holy shit. You can hit him? Oh, I hit him to un... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, Shit. fuckity do that day. Oh, we're in trouble Oh, no, here. I'm all right, I'm all right. And I, I gave him a hat box for free. Shut up. I forgot how to fight him for a minute, but now it's oh, okay. Now there's a hole in the floor. Shit, that's okay. I can fly. Yeah. You guys are adorable. You're going to have to start riding that thing soon. 
Yes, do, dear. Do, do, do. I'm just stating facts, that's all. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh dead. 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 <laughs> There's eventually a floor down there. God, if I only have ten lives. <laughs> I only have well, Now that I remember how to fight him yeah. properly. I was wondering, I was like... I was waiting for it to hit himself, then I would jump and hit him. Yeah. That was why I was just like... I, I had sat a there, I watched it pass about three times, like, I think I think he's got a backward shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's so easy to get a lot of hits in the beginning, because the floor bounces yeah. in toward you. That was why I got worried, too, of watching the floor just disintegrate. I was like, that's going to get way oh, harder before it gets easier. Get there. I... Oh, shit. Okay, you got it. Rick, have you watched any of Luke Cage yet? I have. I watched the whole thing. When did you find time? Fuck it. Uh, while I've been sick this week. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah. You don't think this boss looks like a dick? Oh, that <laughs> totally is a dick. It's a it's a grower, not a shower. I don't get it. How does that one look like a dick? <laughs> I like the broken glass you of have awkwardness. One. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Luke Cage is awesome. I think it's. it's I've only watched two episodes. My three general. Episodes. My general. All right. It's better than Daredevil season two. I'd say it's with John Bernthal. I I liked him very much. I did not like the way they laid out the plot for that season. It was very awkwardly paced. Uh, it was like three mini seasons put together. I didn't I didn't yeah, like that. Yeah, well, yeah. Actually, who was the bad guy? I already forgot. Who was the bad guy? Yeah. For what? For season two. Uh, it was uh, Nobu. That's right. Yeah, that's why I didn't care. Yeah, Lincoln's cool. Am I going? Yeah. Uh, but so. Man is Mr. Purple. Mr. Purple. Oh, yeah, fucking David Tennant, 10th Doctor. Right now, Jessica Jones is still my favorite. Of the four seasons they've put out, Jessica Jones is still on top. So, uh, Just because, like, I watched the first two episodes again the other night when I finished Luke Cage, and, I, and it still gave me fucking chills. I was like, oh, that is some, like, raw shit that show deals out. I guess I'm going the wrong way. Uh, no, this is the right is way. Is it Monday Night Raw? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but so... It's at least it's better than Daredevil season two. I ha I'm still trying to figure out if it's better if it's better or not. Then I think it's better than Daredevil season one, but I'm I'm not 100. percent I think it's better though. So I'd say Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Daredevil season one, Daredevil season two in that order. Uh, it has definitely helped out a lot by him being in Jessica Jones in more ways than one. Oh! Oh! Snap! <laughs> Does it make you excited for Iron Fist? Spoilers, yes, I think. actually. Yeah. Has he ever had sex with any pre-existing Marvel Netflix characters? Uh, Danny Rand? I don't <laughs> think so. Yeah. Luke Cage is, is, is fucking yeah. No, I, I think that's a fail. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the the threads to to Iron Fist were very were very small. I think there was only really like one. Yeah, I'm curious to see how they become best friends. Yeah. Down. Curious about that too, actually. They don't. They don't. I think the events of the Defenders are going to make that happen more than anything else. Yeah. Um, they 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 did a lot more oh, groundwork for the Defenders you. with this than they did with Jessica Jones. Defenders is going to be weird because it's going to be like the story of how yeah. Luke Cage and Iron Fist become best friends. Well, it's also going to be Daredevil and Jessica Jones are going to be there. Jessica Jones makes sense because she's eventually going to have a baby with Luke Cage, and then Daredevil still hates everybody. <laughs> well, he. I mean, Nelson and Murdoch isn't a thing anymore. So like. Well, yeah, and Iron Man and Tony Stark isn't Iron Man anymore. Although, well, although there's also, um, well, no, but like at the end, at Can't the end of season two, uh, Foggy's working with uh, with Hogarth. He gets an invite to work with them, and I think actually, I don't know, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything about Luke Cage in season yeah. X. I feel like that'll spoil stuff. But like,